Are you feeling judged? Aren't we all once in a while? In this video, I talk about how to overcome the feeling of being judged. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jana and uh, on this channel I talk about work, motherhood, life. So if this sounds interesting to you, I would love to have you as my subscriber and hopefully we can share the, our life experiences together and hopefully be helpful to each other and make our lives a little bit better and successful. So I will start my video with a story. This morning I was dropping uh, my son at school and I was stopped by a woman and she was like, oh, we have worked together. And I'm like, oh, I do not remember you, which um, I'm a wedding photographer. So I do meet a lot of people and obviously I cannot remember everyone unless you are my bride and groom. I'm not able to probably remember you because everyone basically looks familiar. I like go through the grocery stores and everyone looks familiar because I mean, obviously we're all human beings and then uh, everyone looks alike just a little bit so she's like oh I'm a makeup artist and she says her makeup um, the company name and then she turns away to a woman to a teacher who stands in the hallway and she says oh please don't judge me because she doesn't have a makeup on she's a makeup artist that did not do her makeup in the morning and it's like 8 30 in the morning and she doesn't have her makeup well me i don't have my makeup most of the mornings anyways most of the times when i drop off my son at school i have my hair air dried not straightened not curled i don't do anything to it most of the times if i have an earlier morning than i do but it's a very normal thing for me to um yeah to not have makeup so i don't think anything about her not having makeup when she does so that made me think that when we think that this is a norm and we don't do it, then we feel judged by other people when we potentially could be judged or not judged. But when we set this for ourselves as a possible norm, then it's, I think, escalated in our minds that we're being judged. And then I was driving back home and I was thinking, if a carpenter doesn't have certain project in his house done, do we judge them or no? If a restaurant chef doesn't have a dinner ready at home, do we judge them or no? If a photographer, in my case, Today is a picture day in school and I did not dress up my child super cute when everyone else was so cute and they are going to get, all the kids are going to get their pictures done and I did not feel the need to, to get the picture and I'm 90% um, sure that I will not be buying a photo package because we have so many pictures of my children already and again I can always do more but uh, it's life I cannot be a perfect mother or perfect person in everything so if I don't have a monthly I'm so sorry that's my child making noises I hope it does not distract the video too much but if my child don't have a picture of him done every week is that a problem or no and i believe that it becomes a problem and a judgment that we feel if we think that it is a problem if someone yells at you in the street for doing something and you don't care about what you have done you will not feel judged you might feel a little bit annoyed or irritated at the person but you will not feel judged only when you think that you should be doing that thing then you will start feeling guilty or feeling judged by someone else so my solution for myself and suggestion to you when you experience the feeling of judgment i encourage you to stop and think about why you're feeling it. Are there reasons why you're feeling that? If someone would tell me, and I've had that experience before, when someone would tell me that I'm a bad mom, I would feel very sad and I would feel very frustrated and very, yeah, very upset. And I was like, why do I feel this way? Because 
there were doubts in my mind that I could be doing things better for my children. And I, in the back of my mind, I'm like, maybe I'm a bad mom and that's why I'm not doing certain things. The moment you realize why you are feeling that way, then you have the option of either go and working on those problems that might be true. If there is something that is truly wrong in your life, you need to change it. You don't want to keep those problems in your life because they're going to hurt everything in your life. And I'm talking about it in my goal setting video. So I'm going to link it up in the video, in the cards of the video and in the description of this video as well because if there if there is something wrong in any of the areas in, in your life it is going to be affecting your whole life so if there are problems you need to be working them working on them and improving things and changing things in your life however if it's not a problem for you which you need to decide if this is the standard in your life or if it's not if you are okay eating takeout meals that's fine if you are not then you need to adjust make changes in your lifestyle in your schedule in your priorities and you need to start making um, homemade meals so yes if it's not something you feel that is important or necessary in your life you should not feel judged you should not feel guilty and you should just go on with your life and know that that person does not see your life as you see it and that's okay we are different people we will not fully understand each other and um, some people have more tolerance of other people's lives than others and i feel like uh, friends and family understand you a little bit better than most of the people but that's not the case in some of our some of our lives so sometimes family could be the most judgmental people in our lives and that's just the way it is you just have to know what is best for you for your family for your lifestyle and you should be confident at doing what works best for you and one more thing to mention is that you should not be I mean it is discouraging when someone is giving you judgmental look or actually tell you something it's not fun to get those but I hope you don't get too discouraged by those words but again make your decision if maybe you need to start working on the problem that does exist in your life and it is a real thing that you should be working on or you should discard the comment the look and just go on with your life and one more thing to mention is that we always have things in our lives that we need to be working on it's a little discouraging but good on this at the same time that there is always something that we need to be improving on in our health in our diet in our work in our parenting styles in our relationship with our significant others and it feels like it's difficult that the moment you conquer one thing that you were working on the next thing comes up oh hi hi buddy we still have dinner yet thank you so it feels like it's never done the, the working on your life part and it is truly never done the moment you're going to conquer one problem the next thing is going to come up and it is kind of good because it means that we are becoming better people better moms better workers and the more struggles the more problems we have the more growth we're going to to experience in our life so it's hard but it's good at the same time so I encourage you to stay strong to stay positive and to always evaluate everything that happens in your life and don't just take it as it is which is sometimes very difficult especially for women because we're so emotional and there is like hormones and everything some or sometimes are it's easier to fight for that problem and sometimes it's a lot more discouraging to us but try to remember that you need to evaluate your life and either work on it or let go of it and not pay attention to the comments that you are getting. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was encouraging to you. Mama. <laughs> Hold on, Mishunka, one second. Come, come, come here, buddy. So, yes. <laughs>
If you like this video, please give me a like. This is the best compliment you can give me. <laughs> if you have any questions, problems, concerns of any sort, leave me a comment below or reach out to me on social media. Miss Sonia, behave, buddy. <laughs> reach out to me on social media. I would love to connect with you. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in my next Bye -bye. video. <laughs> Come here, Miss Sonia. They want to see you. They want to see you. We need to see you over there. Okay, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye. <laughs>